I can't order anything at the fat chocobo? If you can read, don't let Otto know. We'll put you to work on the ledgers too. That is the best name. Most concerning. Luckily, yeah, luckily I can't read, so we're good. I'm not going back to that life. Ever. You hear me? Oh, great. Hey, uh, hey mods, if we can make an FF emotes command that shows the new emotes and thanks, Julia, please. Little code Julia there, too. Got plenty to brood about. This is a spoony bard. When lightning struck, his yoke did break, his life his own again. With thunder's roll, he knew his fate and would fight it to the end. Yo, bros. Well, what do you think? I woke this morn inspired. When lightning struck, his yoke did break. Bro, you need more music. You need more material. Like a stand-up comic with two jokes. Not gonna, not gonna work. All right. Still hungry, are you? Sidolphus. Cornered by a battalion of Iron Kingdom Crusaders in the depths of the Nisa Defile, Clive thought his end was nigh until Sid appeared and spirit hid him, him and Jill away to his secret hideaway. Resident site physiker of Sid's hideaway, Tarja is an expert in all manner of medicines and medical interventions, skills that are indispensable in their de deadland home where they cannot call in healing magics. After Sid brings an unconscious Jill back to the hideaway from his expedition in the Nisa Defile, she is placed into Tarja's care. Do you know about the deadlands? There's no, uh, magic is all but unusable here. Here, both earth and water are stained black. The blight has spread ever more widely, displacing whole nations before it. The Fallen are an ancient yet highly advanced civilization whose relics can be found across the length and breadth of Valistia. The material from which these relics are constructed is far sturdier than steel and cannot be worked by modern methods. So the people of the modern day have elected to build inside and around them instead. Oh, by the way, as, as you guys are clearly seeing, um, although at some point during this game we may start maining the main story, I'm not planning on doing that for a while, so we'll probably be doing a lot of side stuff. Good talk, Surly Smith. Another newcomer. You mind the rules round here? Or our next chat will be through the bars. Oh, got him. Can't go in the water. Uh, let's check out the north area, and then we'll go to the main quest. The washroom floor's all mended, then. It will hold for now. Good talk. Good talk. I see a foul. Sid once told me the blight doesn't kill the land. It only makes her forget who she once was. She'll eventually remember her purpose. All she needs is a little reminding. Oh, yeah, that's a good point. He's actually growing a tree here. I thought the blight made it so it couldn't be grown. Interesting. Your brand. Lady Tyre might be able to see to that. You may have been born a slave, but you're a free man now. Studious soul. <laughs> Leave me be. Infirm bearer, also known as sick guy. Rather you went without? I suppose I'll be needing a new sword. And you'll need to speak Blackthorn. Taking this music, man. 
Uh, Corey said, I think Max said all the side quests are like FF11 or 13 quests. It, what does that mean? Is that a good thing or a bad thing? Is running seem so labored? When's the last time you tried to run? It's hard. Just working on a pet project of mine. Though she's not above biting the hand that feeds her. Oh, they're kind of generic? Oh, that's unfortunate. All right. I was hoping we might try and solve the mystery of poor Clive Rossfield. A bearer of the Sambrequa Imperial Army sent behind enemy lines. With orders to wait until it turned into a brawl, then slit the Dominant's throat in the chaos. I didn't know it was her. How could it be? And so, to save her neck, you slit your sergeants, then set your sights on the hills. Conveniently forgetting how the Empire deals with deserters. Because with that on your chop, my friend, we both know you won't be getting far. Hmm. You've fallen a long way, Lord Rossfield. Also, somebody said his running is labored. He's wearing steel armor. <laughs> I'll not have it said that I'm a poor host. What do you mean to do with her? Thanks, Doug. Do with her? Ooh. Why nothing? Her life is her own now. If I wanted to use her, do you think I'd be talking to you? All I want to do is help. Dominance like her, branded like you. Of course, the realm doesn't approve, which is why we live in a cave. I agree. I love Loras' voice. I love this voice actor. Voice doesn't fit the it's characters. It's also why we need love. help from branded who know one end of a sword from the other. Which is fine, but I mean. What say you, Clive? Will you join us? Clive's does, though. I think Clive sounds great. Sid, was it? I trust that you'll do right by Jill. But until my brother is avenged, I must walk my own path. Avenged? My brother was murdered by a second dominant of fire. The Phoenix is evil to win. Well, bugger me. Another rumor proven true. I only stand here today because of Joshua. Thirteen years I've waited for this chance. I slept in filth, drunk from a gutter, killed more men than I can count. You're right. The Empire will not suffer a deserter. This will be my best opportunity. My last. Which is why you should join us. I told you I'm not interested, I know. One of my scouts sent word there's a group of branded fugitives north of here in the Imperial village of Lost Wing. Among them is one he believes to be a dominance of fire. Is he certain? What say we go and ask him? Bro, I hope you're not wasting all that. That was a lot of good smoke there. This doesn't mean I'm joining you. Let's make ready then. Hey, Christopher G. Good morning, brother. How you doing? You'll find everything cool. you need down in the main hall, as well as a few things you don't. Have fun. All right. Quick title change update there. Okay. Anything in here? I respectfully disagree about Laura's voice. Yeah, I mean, here's the thing. I absolutely love the voice of that character. He's an amazing voice actor. His voice is delicious. I just feel that this character looks a little 
young for that voice. I feel like that voice is a voice of experience, like an older, like kind of wise person. This guy looks like the debonair main character kind of thing. So he, and more, most importantly, he looks young. And that's, and that's that Loras voice is not a voice of, of young. Um, that being said, again, for all I care, Lorath could voice a six-year-old girl. I'd still love listening to it, and I'm sure eventually it would grow on me and I would absolutely love it. And that six-year-old girl would become that voice. So, you know, it, it's not a big deal. I just think that, you know. I think it'd be a little bit different, for instance, if Sid had a little salt and pepper going on, you know? Maybe a few more wrinkles. He could still be hot. Just a little older, you know? I do like that they made him a smoker, so. Now I want to see him voice a six-year-old girl. Because <laughs> that'd be amazing. He, he's in... Oh, no. I want him to voice Good a cat. Visit. Yeah. Perhaps you can help. Sid asked me to make ready for our mission. How does one go about that here? Uh, well, uh, there's old Nan's place. Oh, oh, uh, on second thoughts, uh, you maybe want to see Blackthorn first. A blacksmith? To the forge it is then. Okay. Are you still traumatized by Pikachu? Oh, wait, no, hold up. Detective Pikachu You'll a little be bit. Needing this. Then I found out it's Kaiji won't Tang. Take no though. notice of you otherwise. Might not anyway. And it all became okay. Kaiji Tang is the voice of, of my boy Kasuga. Kasuga, yeah! So if he's doing it, we're cool. We're good. I'll, I'll whatever, whatever he does, I'm, I'm on board with. The forge is down the end. Just follow the sound of Blackthorn's armor. Mm -mm. Didn't they say they were gonna put in a motion blur toggle? Did they do that? Maybe. I mean, maybe that's coming later. Fancy a mug of Kenneth's coldest when we're done. I would. Just tighten shit folders. Does he? Wait. That brings up so many questions. Okay. Are you Blackthorn? What if I am? I'm no time for idle chatter. I'm not here to talk. I'll be accompanying Sid to Lostwing, and I need you to see to my equipment. You could be accompanying the goddess Grieger to our holy bedchamber, for all I care. I'm not lifting a finger for you. Is that so? Give him some rum. Do you want that or not? I can take it back. Oh, damn you, Goots. All right, all right. No need to be hasty. Let's have a look at you. <laughs> I doubt that lot could stay a Moogle's fart. Bloody Imperials. They'd rather see their bearers dead than kid it out properly. I'll do what I can, as a favor to Goot's mind. Forging. The crafting of new gear as well as the upgrading of existing gear can be done at a forge or a blacksmith, as long as you have the recipe and proper materials. Select a highlighted item from the list and hold X to craft or upgrade. Cool. And the belt sees a square. You want anything else? You bring your own materials. I'll bear that in mind. Thank you. Mm. A word of advice. Don't let Sid decide what's best for you. Mm. Okay. Notices. When someone has changed in the hideaway, a notice will appear in the upper right hand corner of the screen. In addition to stock updates for Charon's Toll and new forging recipes for the Black Hammer, there are also notices for new quests, new missives, and many other things. A circle icon will appear in game as well as on the local map to indicate a recent update. I suppose I should thank Goot. Nice. So wait, does he have a new update? 
know. But I ain't the cook, am I? It's not all voice acted? Well, if you've tasted Kenneth Brown, I might as well be. Sid needs a smith and I needed a smithy. Call it a marriage of convenience. Doesn't hurt the forge with the hottest side of hell, or does that work without magic? I have no bear stuff. Do anything needs repairing? Or retooling. You bring it here. Okay, at least complete the whole sentence. Damn, dude. I'm saying for you, dear. Uh, we need just a couple more warite. I think iron bracers. I think I want to wait for this. Although, I think I have a... Can I get a better sword? Hold on. We got the brave heart. Not that on. I'm a filthy cheater. Yep. Oh. He's a cheater. He's a cheater. MNP, how you doing this morning, bud? For some reason, this is like the only thing not voice acted. Really? Is it? Is it just that guy? Nice. Uh, I don't see any more circles or anything. And that's going to be super convenient to have that. Let's go. The gift worked. You have my thanks. I, uh, uh, <laughs> Come on, nearly there. <laughs> you, blankets, quick as you like. Comfortable while a bed's made up. <laughs> well, you're just gonna stand there. Someone face some water. I'll get the bucket. You go and see if Otto needs out, eh? Okay. <laughs> Wait, me? <sighs> How come no VA really bothers you? Uh, it, it doesn't yeah, really. I I, got it's just. In too. It, it, it's much more kind of like immersive when everything's V8. Um, it's also kind of weird to me a lot of times. And, and this, this, is, this is the strangest part. And this, like, outward really bugged me about this too. It's kind oh, of safe. like, if you're going to spend the money to get the voice actor, put them in a studio, and record lines, why wouldn't you just have all of them done? Like, 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 you're, like that's, that's the... the, the lion's share of the work is like getting the VA in the game and setting all that up. Like, why would you only do a little of it? Like, why? <laughs> just, <laughs> just, just, just go the whole way. You're already committing. You're already paying all that money. Like, oh my Lord. They probably charge per word. I, I mean, maybe, but it, it's still, still, yeah. I just, I, it's weird. There are times when I would rather have no VA than partial VA. And I know that's so strange. That's so strange, right? But, I don't know. It's just weird. It doesn't make sense, I know. Who are they? Huh? They're freed Imperial bearers. Who the hell are you? <laughs> Shit, at this rate, he won't make it through the night. Think you can find your way up them stairs to the infirmary? We need Tyre. Well, go on. Shift your arse. Shift your arse. Was Tai the one looking after Jill? JDHD Games, thanks for your sub, buddy. Hi. Oh. Your friend needs her rest. There'll be time for tearful reunions once she's recovered. Are you a jerk? I'm not here for Jill. You're wanted downstairs. There are injured bearers in need of attention. Well, why didn't you say so? <sighs> I did say so. Okay. Did you see that Kiryu got a new VA? I think the NA Kiryu got a new VA. I don't think the Japanese Kiryu got a new VA. And I pretty much only listen to him in Japanese most of the time. But I'm looking forward to hearing him in, uh, in Like a Dragon 2. Which apparently he, Yakuza, or excuse me, uh, Kiryu plays a much larger role in, in Like a Dragon 2, so... We'll see. He's going to be all right. 
But I'll need to hearing. examine them both in the infirmary. My work's just begun. Yeah, Yang Yi, who is an awesome dude. Parsifal, it's all caps. Another fine day at the hideaway. Do many of the bearers who come here arrive in this state? It's no easy thing, casting off your chains. By the time most pluck up the courage, they're already too far gone. These two here are the lucky ones. The name's Otto. You need anything? You ask me. Well, Otto, I do need some supplies. Do you now? Then Lady Karen over there will be more than happy to help you. Right. Oh, and thanks. Be seeing you. Not likely. I won't be staying. Is that right? Well, for as long as you are here, consider yourself welcome. You helped us today. This is like a classic Final me. Fantasy slitty tutorial thing. Kind of funny. Oh. Go on. Keep an eye out for green icon above the heads of certain NPCs. These indicate they have a quest to offer. A list of current and completed quests can be viewed in the journal. After accepting a quest, quest objectives will appear in the to-do list, located on the right side of the screen. Okay. Any quest can be prioritized in the journal in the main menu by highlighting it and pressing X. An ever-growing compendium of all things about Astea, personal jukebox for songs collected throughout the game. Cool. Who are these people? Do you think we should go and help? Don't think I haven't noticed you stealing sips from that pot. Ah, a new face. And, dare I hope, a willing pair of hands. The fat chocobo is a demanding mistress, and she we are is. too few to keep her on her feet. Might I persuade you to deliver a meal or two to souls in need of sustenance? That looks delicious. I want that For your stew. trouble, I can offer you the contents of my strong box and my enduring gratitude. I don't see why not. Marvelous. And who exactly do I have the honor of addressing? Clive. Delighted to make your acquaintance, Clive. I'm Kenneth, and mine are the weary shoulders upon which the weight of this fine establishment rests. I like Kenneth. Now, I have three hungry customers awaiting their victuals. Take these victuals and be careful. Ugh. They're hot. Is this a game of the year contender? I have no idea. Yet. Been. Your food. I was hoping it might be. Well, doesn't this look fine? Thank you, lad. Do chocobos taste You're like chicken? New, yes, you? they do. Kenneth's running your ragged already. Giant drumsticks. Old rascal. Like fair level well, turkey legs. He did say he'd give me something for my trouble. <laughs> And so he should. We're not slaves anymore. Well met, lad. And keep up the good work. That voice sounds familiar. You think he'd have time for a nip with old August before scampering back to his soul? Yeah. Oh, my thanks. <laughs> I hope you do not think me lazy for waiting to be served like a lord. I do. <laughs> Only my former master did not use me kindly, you see. You left me half lame, truth be told. But Sid took me in nonetheless. <laughs> oh. The hideaway is the home I never knew. Aww. And a mighty fine one at that. Please. Wait, wait, wait. He's not out chasing rumors. Lame bearer? All of his brooding and scheming. Lay off the man. He's got plenty to brood about. Painting the tune. The iron blood were quick to sound the retreat once Titan turned up. So 
much more to farming than just seeds and soil. Uh, your food. Just a moment. I need to finish this. I won't be a burden. I'm of no use to anyone as I am, but maybe if I can master this. All right, but see that you eat it before it gets cold. Of course. Thank you. I wonder if he's going to be like an awesome farmer dude later. That's the last one. I'd better let Kenneth know. Yours is not a familiar face. Are you new to the hideaway, perchance? You could say that. Well then, allow me to welcome you. I am Harpocrates II Hyperboreus. Oh, okay. gay. That's uh... a name. <laughs> Quite a mouthful, I know. Which is why everyone here has taken to calling me simply Tones. Yo! On account of the uh, company I keep. And what varied company? I'm a collector, you see. Not of bijou and baubles, but of stories. The history and culture of these isles have ever been a source of endless fascination to me. But alas, my days of wandering the realm in search of new tales are far behind me. I want some bijou and baubles. So bobbles. I've taken to sharing that which I've gathered with all who might listen. Perhaps you would care to listen. Yeah, no. Do come again. Maybe. Mm -hmm. All done, I presume? Chat is... Splendid. <laughs> no, go All back! Paris. Do it! All three of them. All right, fine. Not slaves waiting upon their master's... You know, spoilers. Yeah. Men waiting to be fed like equals. Indeed. Equality is the very cornerstone upon which our little community is founded. Stay a Beyond while these listen. walls, we are scorned as slaves. Speaking only when spoken to, eating only what scraps our masters deign to give us. The first hot meal here is the first many will have known. In the hideaway, we are free. Truly free to speak as we please, when we please, and to eat what and when we desire. More than reason enough to trust in Sid's vision, wouldn't you say? Now, I promised you something for your trouble, did I not? The contents of my strongbox are yours to do with as you will. Thank you, Clive. Do come and visit me again, won't you? A uh, couple things from chat. The brand on their face uh, indicates they're a magic user. They can't use magic where they are now because they're in a certain part of the world that it, that it doesn't work properly in. Um, but yeah, that's a, that's a magic brand. For that part and then secondly spider in your room says no hate just a question is ko usually on sub mode uh on new release games or ones that he really wants to enjoy um i almost never use sub mode in fact i generally absolutely detest sub mode which is why i don't use it 99 percent of the time but unfortunately we already had some some light spoiling when the stream started today so i asked chat if we wanted sub mode and, and it was overwhelmingly yes so yeah, we are we are currently in sub mode and, and probably will be for at least a, a little bit. Yeah. I tend to only use sub mode on games where there are like you know, people spoiling, essentially. Yeah. Which sucks, and I'm I'm really sorry to the non subs. It it sucks. Oh. I'll take XP earned by ten percent. Yoink. Yoink! What's this? We should go and help. 